And if you choose the $30 subscription, you get... Silence, Wedge! I just want to be happy. Such a merry band we are. I will find us a covered wagon and horses if you two can manage not to kill each other while I'm gone. Oh, please. We're not children. He shouldn't die. Yes, fuck you. <laughs> They're on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails up there. You can't put anything past them. Oh, my God, dude. I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You want to talk about stress? You want to talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This company is being bled like a stuck pig, Mac, and I got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now, let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look in the mail, but this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh, shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia, you gotta be kidding me! I got boxes full of Pepe! All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol and HR, and I knock on her door and I say, Carol! Carol, I gotta talk to you about Pepe! And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR. Mac, half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. Okay, Charlie, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Not only do all of these people exist, but they have been asking for their mail on a daily basis. It's all they're talking about up there. Jesus Christ, dude, we are gonna lose our jobs. Well, calm down, because here's one thing that's not gonna happen. What? We're not gonna get fired. We're not. Because we've already been fired. We've lost our jobs? Yeah. About three days ago, a couple pink slips came in the mail. One for you, one for me. So what did I do? I mailed them halfway to Siberia, okay? If we've lost our jobs, that means we've lost our health insurance, which means all of this was for nothing. God damn it, dude, I'm having a panic attack. I'm actually having a panic attack. Well, will attack. you settle down and have another cup of coffee? I am, bro. All right, well, fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a cigarette. He's freaking out. Huh? Who? Barney. He's the guy who tipped me off to Pepe Sylvia. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? You don't see Barney? Oh, shit. It's free. Real estate. We're giving you land. It's free. We're giving you a house. It's real estate. Free. It's a free house for you. This is free real estate. Well, you gotta bring furniture, but the house is free. Two bedrooms, no rugs. It's free. You unlock the door to your free house. We got you the real estate. It's a two bedroom house. It's free. It's got a pool in the back. Like, come get your damn land. It's a free house! Jim, it's free! It's a free house. It's free real estate. Players been talking, smacking, I've had just enough of it It's high time to quit this culture of slander without recourse Lobbing with lies and advice to corrupt the soul But what do we do when the system is broken and cruel? My rule makes discussion revolting It's my proposal to say whatever you like But if you get it wrong, be prepared for a sword fight Bring back the motherfucking duel Cause I got fools that I'd like to school In the battle of blades, don't besmirch my name I'll get slapped, get stabbed, and bleed fat And that's that, think twice for Benny Green Cause you might just die at the dawn of the next day What do you all do to relax after a tough day? Dramatically serenade myself in the mirror. Puzzles. Eat a cookie. And when I'm feeling dangerous, eat a second cookie. I usually go and sit on a surface that isn't meant to be sat on. Because when tomorrow comes, I will be faced with even more challenges. And I am too overwhelmed to be worrying about what is and is not a chair. Listen, we don't cotton to freaks round these parts. Scram, weirdo. Oh yeah? I don't polycotton to coping tropes, even my own. So why don't you split? Looks like I already did. You're the sad figment of my twisted psyche's tragic dividend. You're the un-me. I'm the real me. You wanna be me, kiddo? I was the real me when you were still in my short pants. Hate to break it to you, but I wore them first. Me bequeathed thee the psychopathological hand you down. So you're the one who stained them. Whoever found it, browned it. You'd like me to be you, wouldn't me? But it's too late. You snows. 
you lose, you sleep, you weep, you nap, you get slapped, you slumber, a cucumber, you catch up on some zeds, you get out of my head, you slumber, hamburger, I don't want to talk about nothing else. Listen, this psyche is not big enough for two metaphysical seekers. You couldn't seek your way out of a cardboard bag. Yeah, I know, because it would be an egg. Ooh, this guy might be better than me. You're right, I am better than me. Look, buddy, know when you're defeated. Accept your defecation. No thanks, I'm full, because I eat pussies like you for breakfast. Look at you, you look so superficial. You probably judge things by their physical appearance. Oh yeah, your mom's so shallow. She probably thinks this quip is about her. You're about as deep as a bowl of soup, and your tongue is about as sharp as a soup spoon. Hey, say what you want about me, but lay off the soup. If you love soup so much, why don't you marry soup? Cause I'm already married to justice. Yeah, only a blind girl would marry you. I know everything you're gonna say, and I know everything you're gonna don't. Oh yeah? Well, when God was passing out insight, you thought he said that when God was passing out holy prophets, you thought he said oily faucets, cause your soul has diarrhea of the mouth faucet. Are you so dumb you even answer rhetorical questions? I don't know. Do you? We can play this game all night. So let me explain something. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza. <laughs> It's not pizza. It's a casserole. I'm surprised you haven't thought to complete your deep dish pizza by putting some canned onion rings on top of it. <laughs> it's a cornbread biscuit which you've melted cheese on, and then, in defiance of God and man and all things holy, you poured uncooked marinara sauce atop the cheese. Atop the cheese! On top the sauce! Naked! Cold! <laughs> this is not pizza! This is tomato soup in a bread bowl! This is an above-ground marinara swimming pool for rats. <laughs> Let me tell you something about your f not pizza. I want to know when I get drunk and pass out on my pizza that I'm not going to drown. Let me tell you something. When I look at your deep dish pizza, I don't know whether to eat it or throw a coin in it and make a wish. If I made a wish, it would be that I wish for some real f pizza. Now, in all due respect, I realize it is very cold in Chicago, very cold, it's windy, you need to be able to, I don't know, have a pizza and maybe cut it open and climb inside it like a tauntaun to keep warm. Oh my god, Captain Atheist, thank god you're here. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, okay, are you gonna help me though? Jesus Christ. Am I gonna help you who? <laughs> oh shit. Carl! There is a dead human in our house! Oh, hey! How did he get here? Carl, what did you do? Me? I, I, I didn't do this. Explain what happened, Carl! I've never seen him before in my life. Why did you kill this person, Carl? I do not kill people. That is, that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell me, Carl, exactly what you were doing before I got home. Alright, well, I, I was upstairs. Okay. I was, uh, I was sitting in my room. Yes. Reading a book. Go on. And, uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. So I went up to him. Yes. And I, uh, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Carl, that kills people! Oh, oh, Carl. wow, I, I, I didn't know that. How could you not know that? Yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. What happened to his hands? What's that? His hands. Why, why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of, uh, cooked them up and ate them. Carl! Well, I, uh, I was hungry and, well, you know, when, when you crave hands, that's... Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl! My stomach was making the rumblies Carl. that only hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I, I kill people and I eat hands. That's, that's two things. <laughs> Welcome to my house. As you can see, <laughs> I've knocked over many chairs because I get so tilted at the towers. Uh, this isn't really a tilted or a tower. Well, you see, it's a gamer pad. Not many girls come in here because I get friend zoned so frequently. But that's okay. I'd like to be in the friend zone. I'd like friends. It's not as pleasant as you'd think. <laughs> they don't treat you like a friend. They treat you like an item. Sometimes I wish I could be more than just an accessory to these women. But unfortunately, as a gamer, I don't get respect. Have you ever been walking down the street with your best bro? And while you're walking, you accidentally touch hands? You think to yourself, that was weird, but I'm not gay. You are. You are gay.
What doth life, life, life? Are we just fleshy blips in some meaningless stew of cosmic oblivion? Or is it vice reversa? Hey boys and girls, it's Shadow Teddy's Existential Kids Corner! The word of the day is futile! As in, your futile existence has no meaning! Yay! Do you know any other words that start with F? Uh, for steak? Excellent! Now all together! Your futile existence has no meaning! Let's get serious. I'm gonna kill everyone in this room. He's an outlaw loose and running, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Ow! What the hell are you doing, Cartman? I'm killing you. But unfortunately, I could only afford a wiffle bat, so it's gonna take a while. Cartman! Don't fight it, Kyle. It will only take longer. Just slip into sweet unconsciousness. You want to kill me? Fine. I can't live like this anymore. Go ahead. Do it. And also looking at dry conditions. So all of that huh? What? Shh. No, what's going on? Hold up. What's wrong, dad? She's on the roof. What are you, what are you talking about? Get the gun. No, I don't I don't want to. Sit. No. Get get the goddamn gun. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What's going on? You stay inside, sweetie. Everything will be just fine. Listen to me, you witch. I told you to leave me and my family alone. Daddy, what are you doing? I told you to stay inside, sweetheart. I got the gun. I, I don't know what to do. I can't take the shot, Carter. I, I, I can't do it. I said take the fucking shot, Carter. Give me that. Come on. Come on. Hold still, you bitch. End. Okay, where exactly am I? Um, oh, here's the song. Oh, good. Um, there's some things that are still unresolved here, guys. How, how do I get home? Uh, what do I eat? Was Ray my my mom or a clone or hell? Was this all in my mind? What? Am I real? Oh, hell. Does the bus run through here? I mean, I'd like to go home now, but um, oh god, where's home? Okay, okay, okay. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run... Okay, I got that. Good. Okay. Now, if I were to run away, let's analyze that. Where the fuck would I go? I'm on a big blue ball. Uh, is this how you end the series? I mean, is this where we go from here? Okay.